Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Brody, and I am joined by a very special guest today, Bears' new defensive tackle, Justin Jones. A little bit about Justin Jones is that Justin was drafted back in 2018 by the L.A. Chargers, who has played for his entire career, but he has chosen to take his talents back to the Midwest, and he is here in Chicago. Justin, welcome to the show. How you doing, man? Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. I'm happy to be on, man. Happy to yeah. be a part of your uh, podcast, man. Yeah, happy to have you a part of the Chicago Bears. We're we're super excited to have you. We uh we actually did an episode right when we signed you, and the more we learned about you, the more excited we got. So we're super excited to have you here. So Justin, can you tell the fans a little bit about yourself? You know, kind of where you're from, when you started playing football, and you know, just a fun question is, what's your favorite Chicago meal you've had so far? Uh, well, I haven't had no Chicago meals yet. But I do plan on getting some this weekend. I, um, you know, matter of fact, I, that's a lot. I had a, uh, I had some duck tacos yesterday. Ooh. So some duck tacos, scall- scallion pancake with duck tacos, uh, with duck uh, meat in it, some pineapples, pickled onions, some Ooh. some green sauce. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. Pretty good. Oh man, can't complain when you got that, especially here. And it, and then compared to you know L.A., how are the tacos? Are they a little bit better here? Or are they about same? Uh, I got, I got, I got, uh, I got to eat a few more to uh, really, to really uh, make that decision, man. You can't, you can't just do it on one, one style of taco, man. Ah, uh, I got you, I got you. So, Justin, if you don't mind telling the fans a little bit about where you're from, when you started playing football, and you know, who is your favorite, you know, athlete that inspired you to play the game of football? Okay. Um, I'm from uh, Cobb County, Georgia. Uh, I moved there when I was like in the fifth grade. I uh, didn't start playing football seriously until I was like in the ninth grade at a uh, South Cobb. And then uh, from there, I um, got a couple offers. My first one was from Miami, but I didn't go there. I went to NC State, obviously. But um, I went there with uh, Bradley Chill, one of my guys I grew up with. And uh, yeah, man, so and we, uh, we we went there together, uh, met guys like BJ Hill and Contavia Street and a bunch of other guys. You know, we all came in together and then, you know, so blessingly, like, you know, we uh, got drafted together in the same class. So all four of us went to the uh, NFL in the same class. And I was big time. You know, we didn't have anybody like that since uh, Mario Williams and Manny Lawson out of NC State. So, you know, that was that was like groundbreaking. Like even the following year, we had a lot more scouts coming to the pro day. And so we basically kind of laid the foundation over there at NC State. And then obviously getting drafted by the Chargers in the third round. And uh, met a bunch of good guys out there, man. And, it was, it was a really an amazing experience. I'm not going to lie to you. But um, coming to Chicago was a good fit for me because I was able to actually have family come up, man, to see me play and, you know, come actually come stay with me and be around me. And obviously I can go back home more often because the flights are shorter, man. And obviously all the good food. I heard it's a hundred restaurants out, like hundreds of hundreds of restaurants out here. And you can literally eat at a different restaurant every day. Every oh, year. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited about that. But, um, more, more so than that, but like getting a chance to play at Soldier Field, man, and just being in front of the Bears fans because, you know, I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen, obviously, I've been here, like Bears fans, like literally die hard, man. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to, to put on the show for them because that's amazing. That's yeah, amazing. It, and so speaking of that, you know, kind of can you run through, yeah, a lot of people obviously don't get to experience what it's like being drafted into the NFL. And like you said, it's an amazing experience, you know, Again, no one really can say that. You obviously can. Can you kind of explain what that whole entire process was like and that feeling you had when you were drafted by the Chargers? Uh, you know, for for me, the draft day was a big waiting game, man. I was just anxious the whole day. I didn't get I didn't get drafted to the end of the night. Like, so that was that was that was crazy. But um no, the draft the draft process itself was really long, man. Really long and exhausting. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, you know, you you're doing right your season. You're preparing for a for for a bowl game to play in outside of the bowl game you just played, you know. Then you want to play in the senior bowl, and <clears throat> after that you're training for the combine, and you do the combine, and then you're training for pro days, and after pro days you're training for, you know, like you're going right in the mini camp, right in the uh your uh rookie mini camp, you know, and, and that's a uh, there's no break in there for for rookies when they come in after your senior season like it's nonstop, literally so. That, that that rookie season for most rookies is really, 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 really long. But it's um 
it's definitely a blessing, man, to be able to play on this level, man. Play, play with such elite talent, man. Like and meet, meeting guys who are like really, really good at the sport. Man, I met like a bunch of Hall of Famers. I met a bunch of Pro Bowlers and All Pros, man. And I met vets who've been in the league 10, 15, 20 years. Like it's crazy, man. Like just hearing the the experience that they've had, and you know, in a bunch of games, man. Like it, it, it's just, it's so it's so much deeper than football. Like, the game is it's such such a such an intricate like machine like you just have to man it's, it's so much detail in this game that that we playing right now it's, it's amazing ah it's crazy i mean i and i can tell that obviously you're loving it because you've been in the league now for this will be your fifth year uh in the nfl first with the bears and speaking of that so a free agency obviously started back in march did you when the bears called you how did the whole process go were you were you shocked? Were you excited? Was the Bears on your target of teams that you wanted to go to? Can you kind of tell the fans a little bit more about that? Well, honestly, I was uh, I was actually going to go with the Colts that night, and then uh, Coach Flus gave me a call and you know told me there's an opportunity available, you know, and that I'd be a I'd be a good fit for what they have going on over here and and what they're looking for. And then the three technique means that I fit the mold, fit the mold, and I got on the phone with you know Coach Trav. You know, and he was telling me, you know, my role in the defense and, you know, how I fit and how I fit in the room and everything. And I just got really excited about that, man. And, you know, I believe in everything I was talking about, you know, obviously trying to trying to build something great here, man. And I wanted to be a part of that. So. Yeah. And that's so funny because, you know, Eberflus obviously came from or coach Eberflus came from the Colts. So mm -hmm. that you would have gone to either one of those areas that he's uh, had experience in and it sounds like, you know, you're excited about his style of defense. So exactly what does Coach Eberflus's defense ex excite you the most about when it comes to playing for the Bears? Uh, it, it, allow, it allows everybody to shine. You know, that's kind of that's kind of what I like about it, man. It allows everybody on the defense to make plays, you know, not just, you know, certain players. Like, it makes everybody everybody make plays, man. And everybody gets to go out there and, and do their thing, and everybody gets to go out there and showcase what they're good at and, their abilities and it's, it's going to be an exciting, exciting season. I feel like just, just, just because, you know, the style of defense we're playing. Yeah. I mean, Hey, <clears throat> Chicago loves defense. That's what we were built on. Obviously the 85 bears, the mm -hmm. mid two thousands teams and in 2018 was, you know, that was my big defense that I get to remember, you know, cause that I'm, I'm 25 years old. So I haven't really got to, see, I never got to see the 85 team. Not yeah, by I mean, 25 too. Hey, that, <laughs> you know, this is what I love about, you know, being this age is now, like, when I look at the NFL, I can't be like, oh, that's, that's, I would go, for example, Brian Urlacher, I'd be like, that's Mr. Urlacher, like, no, J Justin's my guy, like, you know, we grew up together, we're the same age, <laughs> so that's, that's crazy, that's crazy, so you're in the prime, of, you're entering the prime of your career, and, you know, we're all excited about that, and, you know, the Bears defense, obviously, is always known to Chicago, that's what we're known for. And another thing that people might not think that we're known for, and you've been very on Twitter, you talked about it, you talked about it in Bears All Access a couple of days ago, but it's about Hallis Hall. Can you really explain how Hallis Hall is different compared to other facilities and how it, it was it a selling point for you when you signed with the team or, you know, kind of run us through what it's like to be in Hallis Hall? Well, you know, I can't really speak for every, every team and what, what their facility looks like. You know, obviously I've been in every one of them, but what I will say is, you know, when you go in there, you can't help but just sit and and, and, and admire the history, you know, that, that that's walked the walls, you know, who's wore that Chicago Bear logo, who represented the team in any form or fashion. Like, it, it's, it's so much history, man. Like, Walter Payton, Brian Erlacher, like, they, guys like you, you said right there, you know what I'm saying? Like, those, those guys right there are just, like, the epitome of a Chicago Bear. So when you talk about – you know, wearing that logo, man, like, it, there's really some true meaning behind that, man, like, really, it's some true meaning behind that, and you have to, it's, it's, almost, it's really, it's really an honor to put it on, knowing and the history. How do you feel so far, you know, I saw that you said that your high school colors were blue and orange as well, but, you know, when you first put on that bear logo, and while, you know, the hat, shirt, whatever was the first thing on, did it feel, did it just, did it feel right? And, you know, did you feel that history hit you kind of when you put it on saying, I get to play for the Chicago Bears? That's exactly what happened. Man, that's literally, crazy. Li li literally verbatim, that's exactly what happened. So oh, crazy, man. man. It's so crazy. And so there's a lot of history with the Bears and a lot of history, especially with the older teams in the NFL. Some guys up north that we won't say their name because, you know, we don't like to talk about them too much. But <laughs> 
But, you know, that, that the Bears have a very deep rivalry, at least, I mean, with the entire NFC North, but specifically with the Green Bay Packers. And, you know, has, you know, did during your time and like playing in the NFL, have you really gotten to understand that rivalry? And does that make you that much more excited to play them? Or what are you looking most forward to to playing in the NFC North? I mean, I want to win. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what I look forward to the most. I, I want to win. Like, I haven't, I haven't experienced the Green Bay, Chicago, you know, rivalry. You know, I, I haven't experienced that, but I know, I know one thing that I, that I have experienced. I, I know, I know what it like, what it's like to win a game. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know what that's like, and there's, there's no, no feeling like it. Man. There's no feeling like it. it like, win, winning because winning the NFL is hard. Like yeah. it, it's really hard. You know, people people underestimate how hard winning the NFL actually is. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it it's it's really it's really hard. Teams lose games. Yeah. In Teams NFL, lose games. Yeah. Teams lose games. Like if everything isn't right, games can go games can go the wrong way, man. And you know, I'm just really focused. Like this team that we have here right now, they're focused. You know, and they're they're really they're really trying to hone in on these details. And trying to understand, you know, what we're doing in this new defense and this, you know what I'm saying, this new offense, and really just get to work and really win these games, man. Like that, that's the main goal. The main goal. So coming from a team where, of the LA Chargers and having a quarterback in Justin Herbert and playing with him for the last few years, do you see any comparisons with him and Justin Fields? And what are you most excited for about Justin Fields from an NFL player's perspective? Justin Fields is a, is a really good quarterback. He's young. But he's got every part of the game you can think of. Every part of the game he's, you can think of. All he's missing is the experience. That's all he's missing. And um, I feel like I feel like as these games go on, and we play more and more games, and you know, we, he gets to understand his offense and really understand like all the pieces he has. It's gonna be real scary for a lot of teams. Oh, we love to hear that. Real scary for a lot of teams. He works hard. You can see, you can see the want in his eyes when he's working. Yeah, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be scary for a lot of teams. I, I know you can't see me too well right now. And by the way, everyone that's watching, he's currently at a chiropractor, so it was very <laughs> nice of him to to be able to do this. That's why the camera's moving around a little bit here. Just full disclaimer. But I don't know if you could see me, but my, I mean, my smile just hit the ceiling because, you know, obviously in Chicago, we've had our struggles in the past with a quarterback situation, whether it be the player, whether it be the play calling, whether it just be, you know, bad luck, bad timing, but Justin Fields feels different. And if Bears fans got to experience that against really in some of the games last year, specifically the Pittsburgh Steelers game that Justin Fields was on a different level. And mm. when, you know, you coming from a different division in football and seeing elite quarterback play, arguably among some of the better quarterbacks in the league, I mean, you come from a division, you know, you had to face Derek Carr, you know, twice a season, at least you had to face other big quarterbacks in the AFC, you know, uh, Patrick Mahomes And the list goes on and on, especially from the AFC coming from that division specifically. How difficult was it facing from a defensive player perspective from your division, playing guys like Derek Carr? You know, do you play and you get, you have Aaron Rodgers in our division, you have Kirk Cousins as well. But can you talk about your experience going against some of the big elite quarterbacks and what's it like as a defensive lineman specifically, kind of kind of trying to read them? What kind of goes through the motions while you're on the field? Man, <clears throat> one thing I can say is. No, no quarterback is alike, right? No quarterback is alike. Every quarterback has their own process of thinking, has their own time, has their own uh, shot clock in their head. Every quarterback has their own, you know, style of decision making that they make. So that being said, on defense, you have to know, like, who you're playing against. That's that's the most important. That's the most important thing that you can that you can do on defense is know who you're playing with know them in and out the like the back of your hand and i'm talking about every every detail from from a hand motion to a to a foot tap to to a you know a, a eye wink you know what i'm saying maybe a turn of the head like know them to a t know them to a t and that's um that's the biggest part so like i said having a guy like with justin like a guy like justin fields you know after playing quarterbacks like that man special quarterbacks he's definitely one of them and I, and I feel like I feel like he's on his way I really do 
Man, we love to hear that. That that's something that's something that we want to hear. So thank you for giving us the reassurance on that one for sure. Coming coming from a guy that's going to be working pretty closely with him this upcoming season. One more question for you, Justin, is that coming, you know, as a player, who is one guy that you wish you could have played against or with in the NFL during your career? Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> Man. Honestly, like the like, is it like current players or is it like all time? Yeah, you can go all time for sure because you know you watch obviously a lot more NFL. I mean, you're in the NFL, so you go all time on it. I would love to hear this answer. Man, if I could play, if I could play a Warren Sapp, <laughs> either, either side by side or even just behind them, like that'd be that'd be amazing. All just off the strength of the style, the style of game he plays, like. That'd be, that'd be actually crazy. That's actually a good question. Yeah. That'd be crazy. Well, so all time. So I know when that'd you're playing crazy. Madden, when you're playing Madden, you're choosing Warren Sapp on your defense as an all time team, right? For sure. For <laughs> sure. For sure. Just cause, just cause when I, when I, when I see him, when I see him and I see the way I play, I definitely, I definitely take a, I definitely take a lot of tools that, you know, he's, that he's used, you know, in the game, I definitely try to take a lot of tools and implement them in my game just from body types and the way he moves and, you know, his production when he plays and, you know, the, the, the effort he plays with and the, the aggression and, and physicality, man, like, you know. That's yeah. awesome. That That's awesome, man. I, I think that that's so crazy. And kind of this is just totally off the script and just want to ask you this. Coming from a player, seeing yourself in Madden, like what's what's that like? Because, you know, obviously me, I put 99 on my guy and make him 6'6", you know, 300 pounds, able to take down anybody. What's it like seeing yourself in a video game from not too long ago where you were playing thinking, Hey, this could be me one day. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. But then I looked at my Madden player and I was like, damn, he's really kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> they really, they really made my guy pretty ugly. I'm not going to lie. Oh, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know who that is. My, my name is on it, but I don't know who that is, but, um, <laughs> but yeah. But no, it's definitely cool to be able to play with myself and not have to put myself in the game, like not to edit myself and try to. It is, it's really cool, man. I, I um I definitely enjoy doing it. I definitely played a whole season of Madden just for just for off the strength of me being in it. Like that was I, I do that every year. Ah, that's awesome, man. And hey, you know, I, we got a couple guys that we work with that probably would love to play you one on one and see how you do. You know, you're you versus them in Madden. So we'll have to set that oh, up yeah, maybe I'm, sometime. I'm not, I'm not good at all. <laughs> okay. like, go, go, go figure. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, that you keep it. You'd rather do it in real life than in man. Facts, right? facts, facts. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Well, Justin, we're very happy to have you in Chicago. We, you know, we're super excited about it. Hopefully, you know, I'll send you some uh, Chicago recommendations you can try out. I know you just got here. We talked about it before we started recording, but it was great meeting you. Great for the fans to get a little bit, know a little bit more about you. And we're super excited for you in this upcoming season. Man, no, I appreciate you. I appreciate the opportunity, man. Good luck on the podcast. Thanks, man. And thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Brody. Join alongside Justin Jones, and we'll see you guys next time.